amen, who are here today. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here and below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise God. Praise God. Every, every day. Let us pray. Dearly, Father, merciful God, we thank you, Lord, for another day's journey. We ask you, Lord, right now to come on with us and come on into this place. Let your Holy Spirit dwell with us. Be with us. Be a part of us, Lord. And most of all, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for this day you woke us up and blew the spirit of life into us one more time. Yes. And for that, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so good and so kind to sinners like us. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, for this Sunday, this last Sunday in May, Lord, Beautiful day it is, Lord. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. Yes. And most of all, Lord, we see that your blessings roll all over. Yes. And we thank you, Father, for it. For when the praises go up, the blessings come down. So, Lord, we invite your Holy Spirit into this place. Yes. Let it come and tarry with us and, and stay with us for a little while as we celebrate you and your darling son who died on the cross for us. Yes. We thank you, Father, for this day. Now, Lord, we just lift up this service to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Let us all say amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. We'll now have a wonderful selection by our choir. Amen. Let the church say amen.
Jesus came down from the mountainside. Large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately, he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, see that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priests and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Thank you, Lord, for your holy word. Yes. A lamp unto our feet to light our pathway in darkness and trouble. A blessing in our times in this life. Thank you for your word. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And they all said amen. Amen. And you may be seated in the house of the Lord. We thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you, deacons, for that wonderful selection. Brother Marcellus, we appreciate you. Thank you, Reverend Peterson. Amen. All that you do. We appreciate all you who are gathered here under the sound of my voice. And I solicit your prayers here and in audiovisual land and to the different outlets that we go to. We thank God for the thousands of people who watch us. We thank God for you. Amen. 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 Lord, save me. 
How many times have you said that in your life? Mm, once, twice, three times. How many times have you repeated this, Lord, I need your help? Well, today I have a story that I believe brings this scripture to life. I believe it brings what's going on in our life to a, a head that you can understand. Lord, save me. Always good to see everyone. Amen. Come with me as I tell you a little story. Get yourself comfortable and, and relax for a minute. You see, we all have a story. We all have gone through something in life. And as we get older, we go through more and more. Our, our bodies become more feeble. We forget things. We, we don't walk like we used to walk. We don't talk like we used to talk. But sometimes life hits us with diseases early. Sometimes even as a child. But here in the story I'm going to tell you, let's go back to the first century. Let's go back to Palestine. Jerusalem, to be exact. There are no paved roads, no cars, no smartphones, no telephones at all. No type of electricity. Oh, y'all starting to think. Wow. The summer air is filled with dust that has been stirred up by the thousands of people who walk every day on the dusty roads. And, and as they walk on that particular day, we're going to focus in on a man. This man. This man in this story looks and acts just like any other man. He goes to work. Hmm? But on the streets this day, it would change his life forever. I want y'all to relate to this man. Because it's us. As we stand and we hear this story, think about this man walking down the dusty, busy road. No phone like you got, no car, sandals, the shoes that he had, uh, somebody probably made for him, a cobbler, put it together. He's walking down the road. And uh, as he's walking, let me tell you something about him. He's a hard working man again, but he struggles like we all do. Each and every day, the bills are due. Everybody has bills. And uh, let me tell you something about this man. In his hand, he has his tools that he uses for his daily work. He has tools that he uses because he's a day laborer. And as he's walking to work, he knows that he has to struggle because he has a family at home. And his, and his family that's at home, he has a loving wife. He loves this woman. He, he takes care of her. And this woman, in turn, takes care of him. I don't know about in today's society, but that's what it used to be. And, and he has children. And the children, when he comes home, they, they look up to him. And, and when he finishes this day laboring, he, as he washes his tools and, and everything and, and the sand and stuff, he comes into the house and he looks at his children and they run to him, Papa. And he hugs them and there's food on the table. And, and he kisses his wife and, and they sit down and they eat. Wonderful time. Because he realizes this is what it's really all about. And uh, as he's sitting there, he says his prayers 
to God, thanking him for the meal, for, for his family, and all this. And they go to sleep. And the next day, he gets up, and he goes to work. Think about this. As he's uh, finishing his work, he's washing his tools. And then all of a sudden, he sees blood. What, what is this? I must have cut my head. He looks on his hand. And he looks, and, and, and he sees nothing wrong. So he's wondering, well, well, what could this be? I, I'm, then he starts bleeding from his paws and his nostrils. And he, he, he says, no, 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 let, 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 me, let me just wash, wash myself again. Let me, let me wash myself again. I, I, I must have gotten too much dust. Maybe something's in my, maybe, you know, let me just clean myself again. Now the blood is still coming. And he runs to the house that he has built with his wife. And he stands at the door and says, no, they're going to come. Don't run out. He says, no. He says, I got to go to the priest. And his eyes meet his wife's eyes. Y'all see this? And as he's seeing his wife's eyes, she kind of understands. She sees the blood. She says, stay there. Again, he said, this might be the last time. I don't know. It might be the last time we all sit together. Yeah. It might be the last time we all uh, uh, enjoy each other. I don't know. I don't know. This may be the last time. Maybe. We don't know. Lord, save me. Then he, he, he waves at his children. He says, I got to go to the priest. So he goes to the priest. And the nightmare begins. Y'all ever had a nightmare? Oh, my goodness. And you wake up sweating from sometimes. And as he's declared permanently unclean, they sent him away. Not far, but away. And where he's at is where other lepers are at. There's a garbage heap that's over that area. And he's looking down, tears are coming from him. A leper! No, 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 anything but this guy! Have you ever been there? Sick so bad, hurt so bad. You say, no, no, God, no, anything but this. What did I do to deserve this? Yes. Well, what did I do to have this come upon me? Yes. God, what did I do? And that last glance that he saw at his wife, that last kiss, that last such moment, for a very long time, what did I do, God, to deserve this? Yes. God, you could have just killed me right away. Yes. You could have took me up out of here. You, 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 you could have, I could have failed. Like I could have anything, but why this? Oh. What did I do? Must I be tortured like this? Have you ever asked God? God, why, why did you do this to me? God, why did this happen to me? I come to church every day. I give my tithes. I, 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 I serve. I do everything you want. Why did this have to happen to me? God has sometimes go silent. Then sometimes you hear, why not you? Maybe there's something greater I have in store. Greater for you. But we don't hear this. Can you listen to this man? Now he's a walking dead man. For the next few years, come back to the story with me, things go from bad to worse. 
He's lost his livelihood, his family, his home, his friends. He even has lost his religion. He's turned his back on God. But just enough of love for who he is that he doesn't kill himself. Just enough. Can you relate? Some of us have gone to the point where we're ready to jump off the cliff. We have gone to the point where we're ready to give up. We have gone to the point where we have sacrificed all that we have and there's still not enough love given back. Woo. Now, back with this man, he has nothing except the little conscience that keeps him going day after day. His clothes are rags that he has managed to gather from the trash heap. And every day he's in that trash heap looking for food with the other lepers. Sitting back crying, Lord, is this what I've come to? But then he gets used to it. Could you imagine now not only the blood some of his fingers have come off. Years have gone by now, and, and he knows he's all covered in rags. He's just used to it. He's, he's shuffling along in life. Some of us are shuffling along in life, just going through the motions. Not praising God, not thanking God, have lost our religion, have lost our love for God because of all the things that have happened. If it was such a God, why would he do something like this to me? Then all of a sudden, he and the other lady, lepers that are there, and they hate that title. Can you imagine the title that some of us get? Lazy, no good for nothing. Crook, criminal. Could you imagine? You've been in jail. You've served your time, and you come out, and they say, "Well, we're sorry. We don't take convicts." <laughs> or have you gone through light, and you come out of the darkness, and you're in light, but people know you from the darkness, and and they they say that 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 he's no good. Don't 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 you get that? Don't you help him? Don't do nothing. He's still no good. The titles that we give to other people, the titles that we give to people who are black. We're more than titles. We are people of God. Every last one of us created in his image. Oh Lord. Here we are back to the man. Even though the indignity of eating garbage doesn't compare with that of having the warm mothers of his presence as he comes. Here, here his leper, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, I'm unclean. Sometimes he just kind of shouts, I'm unclean, I'm unclean. Could you imagine the mothers grabbing their children uh, and they're running away, oh, looking at him? Sometimes as we look at those who are homeless, those who have to close or are pushed to the side, and we look and we turn our face up, not knowing that some of those are some of the most educated people in the world, not understanding that this life has dealt them a bad hand. But, but for the grace of God, they go This story is us. The same people we see day and day in the market can be the same people that can get sick all of a sudden. The same people we see with us laughing and joking can be taken away like this. And here is this man. One day, a hot day, he's just doing his normal garbage heap looking for clothes. One day, he hears about a man, a 
man they call the Lamb of God. Uh -huh. he, he hears about him. All the other lepers hear about him. Mm -hmm. He say, well, wait, wait, wait. We got to stay away, but we can go uh, and, and hear. He's going to be on the mountainside. And he says, the Lamb of God, that sounds clean. And they hear, they hear that he heals people. Yeah. He cures people. Uh -huh. Oh, gets the ears are twitching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, save me. Oh, y'all, come on, somebody. Y'all yeah. Yeah. been there as sick as you could be. Laying in the bed, don't know if you're going to live or die. Yeah. So sick sometimes you cough up blood. So sick sometimes you you just are, are ready to just call it a day. I gotta take this medication. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I'm tired. Yeah. Lord, save me. Yeah. You, you, you feel this man. You understand this man. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, he says, I'm gonna go. But he follows all the others. And he comes into that earshot of the man. He comes into that earshot. And can you hear that sermon on the mount? Oh, come on, y'all. Don't y'all know it. Huh? Go to Matthew, fifth chapter, and read it for yourself. You should know the Beatitudes and all the different things. Because he preached for more than that. He preached for a while. Yeah. So this man is sitting there listening. Mm -hmm. And it says, now when Jesus saw the crowds, mm -hmm. he went up on a mountainside and sat down. My goodness, could you imagine the whole area filled with people? His disciples came to him and he began to teach them the Beatitudes. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who are hungry and their thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, this leper is hearing this thing. He's like, oh, hey, felt like this. I, I'm feeling good. As he's sitting there still sick. You know how the music starts to play even though you feel bad? You know, when you hear somebody preach a good sermon and you feel better, but you just still feel better? Yeah. He, uh, when you're just like, wow, I don't feel bad no more. I, I don't know what it is. It's the power of the living word. It's God seeping his blessings out to you. Yes. Jesus, save me. Yes. Woo. Blessed are you when people insult you. How many times have you been insulted? Yes. Persecute you. Yes. And falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Precisely. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Oh my goodness. Then for the first time in years, <laughs> this man, he, he feels a tear come down his eye. He wipes it. He said, this man, what is he saying? Is it is, is inspired me. It's lifting me. It's moving me. And then he says that name above all names. He says, Jesus. 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 He's moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, this, this is what you don't see in this. You read the scripture, but you got to see this man. Based on this. Huh? He wants to put his sickness up against this. As the day drags on and the people sit, they're intently still listening. He does too. He doesn't worry about the garbage heap. He just sits back away from the crowd, ears tickling. 
always saying glory. When he finally says, this, this is it. Jesus has finished preaching. Think about this. All the other lepers have to get back. And they run. And unclean, unclean. And they go back and they move and they move. Because it was more than just one leper here. Yeah, you got to understand. There was a lot of sick people. Uh, could you imagine the crowd? All the things we're going through. All the sickness you got. You're not the only one. We all need saved. That's why we come to the church. That's why we praise God. You're not going to be young forever. One day you're going to be old and you're going to be like this. Oh, he's just an old man. old. Yeah, but you're going to get there. If God blesses you to get there. Woo. And then he, he's like with the other lepers running. But there's one. One who stays. And it's this man. He said, I don't care about nobody. I don't care what's going on. I don't, I'm going down to unclean, but I'm going up to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, y'all got to see this. Yeah. When you see this, you, you can understand him walking, and, and he's coming to Jesus, and Jesus knows he's coming to him, because the people are doing this. <laughs> and you can see him, he, he coming, rags, unclean, unclean, and they stepping away, they stepping away. And you know his disciples and him. Could you imagine? You gotta see this. This man is walking to you, Jesus. He's a leper. Jesus, you gotta run. You gotta get away. Oh, this is what it hits me. This is what you gotta see. Come on with me. They look to Jesus to discover his response. Then it happened. Who would have thought that Jesus reached out? He reached out, Robert! And he touched him. Huh? In that day and age, to touch a leper? It's over. It's over. You unclean too. Jesus reached out and touched him. Oh man, y'all got to see this. He reaches out and touches him. Now you start seeing, Lord, save me. Jesus is standing there reaching out to touch you. Touch not only you, touch your family. He lost his children. He lost his wife. He lost his job, his work. He was in a garbage heap. Here Jesus reaches out and touches him. He's never been touched in years. Probably the last person to touch him was those tools he was cleaning that day. And Jesus touches him. Do y'all see this? The man looked up. And he gazed into the eyes of Jesus. He remembered he was in love when he gazed into the eyes of his wife. He remembered that. But he gazed into the eyes of the man who stands right there. And he says, what do you want me to do? Jesus helped the man to his feet. Y'all, come on, y'all got to see this. He wiped his tears away. Come on with me with this. And, 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 and then he says, what do you have me to do? Hmm? He says, I want to be clean. <laughs> y'all read it, you read it with me. Then he says, then be clean. Huh? Then you are clean. And immediately, now, now y'all got to see this thing here. There's a crowd around. This man was a leper. And then immediately, he is not a leper. Everybody saw this. 
is for himself. It starts making you want to cry, doesn't it? It starts saying, Lord Jesus, save me. Save us. I, I, I'm unclean. Lord Jesus, I got all types of things going wrong. Lord, some of us are suffering mentally. Some of us are suffering physically. Some of us are suffering financially. Some of us are suffering spiritually because we struggle to find the answers to what life is all about. And our purpose. <laughs> but I keep telling you over and over again, your purpose is your eternal salvation. Everything else is a life purpose. When you stand before God, you don't say, oh, what did you do for a living? <laughs> no, 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 no. Huh? How much money did you make? How many, how many people did you help? He already, all this is already seen. And don't think it's going to be a long, drawn-out process. Well, let's go through the motions with you. Let's see. You did this. You did this. You did this. <laughs> hey! If the angel called Satan hmm, was thrown out like lightning, Jesus said, I was dead. I saw him. He was out like lightning. He said, God, woo! <laughs> huh? You see, hell break this down for you was created for Satan and his demons mm -hmm. it was not created for you and I yeah. oh y'all get that mm -hmm. and because of that we have a right to the tree of life called salvation yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. because you don't like to hear it but you gotta die Oh, we don't want to hear it. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You think everybody's going to be, hey, I'm ready to go. No. But I've lost enough friends like that. I've lost, and you've lost, and we've lost mothers and fathers who we loved and hugged and brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and cousins and friends so much so that the stench of death sometimes rises up and you say oh my lord but then just like that Jesus reaches out and says here I am huh? come unto me oh ye labor and who are heavy laden. And I, he didn't say the Baptist religion. He didn't say Pastor Carter. Hmm? He didn't say none of all these preachers you see on TV. He didn't say nobody. He says, come unto me. Hmm? And, 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 come on. and I will give you rest. And that's who you go to in all that you do. Because when we're blessed, we bless others. Because we're just conduits from what God gives us to bless you. Oh. We're not some kind of uh, uh, Holy Ghost rolling, uh, uh, Jesus walking this and that. No. It's only by the grace of God that I'm here, you here, we here. His grace. And now, here just like that man who was the leper. Could you imagine he's clean? I mean, all the other lepers didn't say nothing about nobody else. All the, he was in the garbage heap with a bunch of other lepers. He didn't care. He knew those tears he shed. He walked up to Jesus. Oh, y'all got to see this thing. 
as he's walking, <laughs> his, his eyes have been fixed. <laughs> Come on. They were down, fixed to the ground. Then all of a sudden he is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he hears some kind of music or something. And, and he, he sees a light that he's never seen before. He sees and he starts looking up. <laughs> and those eyes start to come up. <laughs> and he sees Jesus. Calvary. Calvary. He has to feel what Jesus is feeling. Surely he died on Calvary. And, and he says, no! And he reaches out to us. And he says, save us, Lord. Do you see yourself right now? Lord, save me. And this man who came down 42 generations. Oh, this man called Jesus. He's reaching out for you right now. This man called Jesus who died on the cross. Yes, he died on that cross. Y'all with me? And when he died on that cross, yes, he surely died on that cross. And when he died on that cross, they took him down from that cross, took the nails out of his hands, the nails out of his feet, took the crown of thorns off his head, put him and wrapped him in the clothing and, and put him in a ball tomb. Yes, they did. I'm still saying, Lord, save me. And they put him in a ball tomb and they laid him in that ball tomb and they sealed him with a big stone. Yes, they did. And then uh, he laid there all night Friday. Y'all with me? One more 
time, just say, Lord, save me. In Jesus' name. And it'll be all right. Let us pray. Dearly, Father, merciful God, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the word. We thank you, Father, for all those gathered here. But most of all, we thank you, Lord, for being there for us when nobody else was. Yes. You kept us up. You kept us going. You kept us strengthened and adorned with your blood-stained power. Yes. Now, Lord, who's able to keep us from falling and keeping us propped up, we give you all the praise and the glory. And in this, we say amen. amen. The doors of the church are open. There might be one after hearing the word preached. I'd like to come and be a part of God's family. We thank God for each and every one of you. Because today is that first day of the rest of your life. Lord, save me. He will, he will, he will. I know he will. What a mighty good God we serve. Don't you give up on God. Because he has given up on you. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh. 